My name is Bonnie Barati and I'm a senior research scientist at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. My main interest is the icy moons of Saturn and the other planets. I think they're fascinating because some of them are active. Some of them are heavily cratered. Some of them have freshly laid stuff that looks like snow. I actually did my thesis, that is my graduate work, on Europa, which is an icy satellite of Jupiter, and it kind of looks like a cracked egg. Well, I was born in, in, in uh, Pennsylvania. My dad was a, an engineer at Bethlehem Steel Company. On the one hand, I was interested in some traditional stuff, like, you know, I took ballet lessons, and I liked to twirl the baton, but I think my real love was science and engineering. Also, my dad, being an engineer, was interested in how things work, so we used to work together. I went to undergraduate school at MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology near Boston, so that was an urban environment. And then finally, I went to graduate school at Cornell University, which is right in the middle of an agricultural area. So I was back to the country, and I got my degrees in astronomy and space science. I came to JPL right out of graduate school. I came to work on the uh, Voyager mission which was a mission to explore the outer planets. It went by Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. It was launched in uh, the late 1970s and made these encounters at the planets throughout the 1980s. And I came to study the icy moons of these bodies. Cassini uh, started being built. I was, uh, I was involved in it from the very earliest stages on one of the cameras, uh, an infrared camera and I've been working with engineers to build it. And now I'm analyzing the data to look at volcanoes on Titan, We're looking at geysers on Enceladus. These are icy moons of Saturn. Well, the thing about being a scientist is your foremost job is to discover. So you're always thinking at the edge of knowledge. You're always trying to think of new ideas. And when you have a spacecraft, you can always look at something for the first time and you're always going to see something that you didn't expect to see. It's very important for students to do well in math and science, but it's also important to do well in English, because a lot of what we do is write and communicate with other scientists, and it's important to learn how to play well with others, because as scientists, we're, we're always working on a team. Uh, we're always working with others, so you want to make sure that you know how to interact with other people.